Good morning, my name is Andre Salazar and today I will be talking about overfishing in the Atlantic Ocean. So my research question is, to what extent has overfishing in the West Atlantic Ocean affected fisheries on the East Coast of the United States? Every year, hundreds of millions of tons of fish are taken out of the ocean and it negatively affects uh, fisheries all over the globe. In the stimulus provided uh, from the new food economy, Claire H. Brown says, the depletion of wildlife in the water has been massive since I first started fishing as a kid. This leads into my research uh, argument that overfishing has caused fisheries to collapse by decreasing the fish populations that sustain them. Overfishing is the depletion of fish stocks, which are basically the fish populations in a specific region uh, of a certain species through the excess of harvesting. It occurs when a fisherman take fish out of the water at a rate greater than they can be sustained and replenish themselves through natural processes such as uh, well reproduction. So the effect it has is the gradual deprecation of fish populations to the point where they cannot no longer sustain themselves and end up uh, going extinct. So the motivations behind uh, overfishing include uh, the open-ended nature of fisheries where the only real limitation on a fisherman's profit is his own ability to secure a catch and how fast he secures that catch. So this uh, leads to a short-term mindset which is best explained in Columbia University's Journal of International Affairs which says, individual fishermen unsure of their catch are encouraged to fish as rapidly as possible in the present, continually investing in technology to increase outputs. This increase in investment of technology can be seen in this net, which is massive and can hold tens of thousands of tons of fish. Um, Overfishing.org says that global fishing fleets are two to three times larger than what is needed to fish sustainably. So in another one of the stimulus provided, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, they have this chart which shows different uh, fish species on the overfishing list or overfished list in the US. On the East Coast, you can see many species such as Atlantic cod, deltail flounder, bluefish, hogfish, Atlantic mackerel. All of these species are integral to their specific region and the fisheries that make up that region. And once they're gone, it can very negatively affect, affect the fisheries in that region. The, Peer Review Journal Pier J says that despite fish species accounting for over 80% of the life taken from the ocean, a large proportion of them are reported to be overexploited globally. So what are fisheries role in this? Well, fisheries need fish to sustain them. When the, those fish species go extinct or can't be fished anymore, they collapse under the weight of their own production. Uh, despite this, many fisheries refuse to let the populations rest and continue to get them in a pursuit for profit. As you can see in this graphic, 87% of, of the world's fish species are o exploited, overexploited, or have collapsed. So the, fish, the fisheries end up being the cause of their own collapse as they continue to take fish out despite it not being a, it not being a sustainable practice. So here you can see the cycle of overfishing where it advances in technology lead to higher efficiency fishing practices, which leads to higher catches, and when there's more seafood available on the market, it lowers prices, which makes the companies want to fish even more, which leads to advances in technology, which restarts the cycle. And this whole cycle, as it happens, it lowers the fish population every single time. So the relevance of this is, how does this issue affect the, sea, the fishing industry as a whole? In this chart, you can see that in 2012, the commercial side of the fishing industry for $59 billion. 12% uh, of this comes from harvesters, which take fish out of the ocean. Another 23% of this comes from seafood processors and dealers, which take the fish from the fisheries and distribute it and turn it into edible goods. So when fisheries begin to collapse and fishing uh, takes a hit, it affects this economic output. Also, this issue affects coastal towns uh, because the NOA says that 123.3 million people in the U.S. are living counties directly connected to the shoreline. So due to the proximity of these people to the sea, uh, a hit to the seafood industry also hits them hard as well. Possible solutions to this problem are stricter regulations by the government on the amount of fish that can be legally 
caught each year. By setting limitations on the amount of fish that can be taken out, we can set the rate that we're taking fish at lower than the rate that they're being replenished through their reproduction and begin to rebuild up our fish stocks and help the problem. Issues with this solution are the existence of unreported harvests and illegal fishing. Unreported harvests are the way that uh, fish companies will go out and they'll take a certain amount of fish but they'll only report a smaller amount. So for example, a fishing company will go out, they'll get 50,000 tons of fish, but they'll report that they got 40,000 tons of fish and it makes it hard to regulate the amount of fish being taken. Illegal fishing is when people disregard regulations and they go out in areas that are not supposed to be being used at that moment or for species that are protected. Thank you. All right, two questions for you. First question, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used and then how do you know? My sources I, uh, were reliable because most of them came from either the stimulus provided, which I checked for the author being a reputable source, or from academic peer-reviewed journals. Okay, and um, what evidence would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? Can you repeat the question? What advice would you have for other researchers that consider this topic? Oh, advice I would have is uh, there's a lot of information that is very similar when you're researching this topic, so you want to find the information that goes more in depth into the topic instead of just saying the facts that are present in every source. You're done, brother. Breathe. <laughs>